On this video, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to install the new Flex Amp. Uh, now, the major difference from the old version, which is this one here, is now there's a solder point here for the volume control, and the ground is no longer here, this little notch. It's down here, which is a little easier. That's a bigger area. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the motherboard. Let me just fix the zoom. <clears throat> so the three points we're going to hit <clears throat> are this one here, the SP, the volume, this one here. This is where the ground is going to go. Move it up a little further. And this is the 3.3 the volts. So the easiest way to install this is to add a little bit of solder to the SP joint and the volume. The rest we'll add as we need, if we need. There's already enough solder on here and here where we probably don't need it. So just line things up. So having the solder already there makes it much easier to figure out uh, the correct orientation and it fits just, it just locks in place, having little balls there. <clears throat> so as we have this already with the solder, we'll just hit these first. So those are locked in there. It's okay to add a little extra solder, just make sure you have a nice shiny solid connection now we'll hit this one got a little bit of a misalignment at the top okay now it's lined up better. This one's going to require a little bit more time so don't be afraid to just hold the iron there a little longer because this is a ground. The grounds usually soak up quite a bit of heat. And oh, thought I had that on camera. So as you can see you just Put the iron here, let, let it melt. I pushed it down just so there's good contact. That's it. The job is done. So now you can use the stock speaker uh, of the GBA. But I recommend the 2 watt available on my website. This will have much better um, sound and be able to handle the power of the amp versus this old one. <clears throat>